Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and on this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY fish acclimation box for under 7 bucks. Now to make these acclimation boxes we are going to be using clear shoe boxes from Walmart. Um, I have two versions I personally use, one that is about $7 and then the other one that is about $12. So here are my two acclimation boxes. This, um, the, they are the mainstay. They're just clear shoe boxes or boot boxes. Um, you could get them from Walmart. Um, this one is about twelve dollars after taxes, and this one is about seven dollars after taxes. So really, these are like six fifty right now. Uh, this is like eleven fifty. Um, right after taxes, you get them right at eleven and six. Um, seven dollars. The reason I like doing stuff like this DIY, it's cheap. Um, an acclimation box of this size that's fully acrylic, it's going to be almost 100, 200 bucks. And then the other ones you could get for about 20, 30 bucks, it's even smaller. It's like a little, um, like a beta box basically. So, all you're going to need for the project are your acclimation boxes, um, some way of hanging them. I like to use this kind of uh, twisted pair cord that I have. It's basically just um, some wire that's twisted and it's coated all the way through so it doesn't like get rusted or whatever. And then you're gonna need a drill of some sort with uh, some type of uh, hole drill, hole bit, sorry. I prefer these type of bits. Um, these just make it easier to size up the holes that you want. In case you have a smaller fish, you could use a tiny hole instead of using this big hole right here or um, much more easy but has a lot more fumes as a soldering iron of some sort um, these are pretty cool uh, because all you have to do is just basically punch a hole in it and then make the hole for it so i've already done it on the on my current acclimation boxes all i'm gonna do right now is just uh, make some extra holes like on top of the lid of my um the current one and a half so i can make a feeding hole so you could basically see how i make holes so pros and cons to using um, the different uh, methods because this is kind of like hard plastic. Um, it's not cheap per se, but it is like hard plastic, and that means it's easy to crack. So the caveat to using the drill is you have to be really um, gentle, really slow. Um, don't put too much weight on it because then it will actually crack the lid or the actual acclimation box. Then you have to might buy another one or have to like try to glue it stuff. So that's the one caveat using the drill. And then the other um, caveat for using the southern iron is it gives you a smell. So that burning smell of plastic, melted plastic, it's gonna be through your, through your house. So you might wanna do it outside. Uh, that way you could have um, like fresh air. Or open up a window with a fan blowing or something. Just get some air circulation. But uh, I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod so I could show you guys how I'm gonna just drill the lid. I've already drilled holes and um, burnt little holes or melted holes with the southern iron and the drill. Show you guys how it's done. Right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start drilling. Just make a couple holes. And just like that, you can see how I just made a hole. And like I said, I didn't use any pressure. It's kind of like how you drill an aquarium. And just put the drill on there and let just the weight of the drill kind of take it down into the hole. And if I wanted to, I could just go further on until I get the right size. But this is good for water flow. Um, next, I'm gonna show you how to use this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start melting a hole through and it's just simple you take it and then just make whatever shape you want I'm gonna make a little fin hole it's like it's melted in and now all I gotta do whoop, all I gotta do is just put a little tension on it and you can just see it cutting through Yes, Nina, what's up? I'm doing something, stay over there. Hey okay, guys, so see how it's going. I'm just making a little bit of a feeding hole. Uh, and now it looks a little bit raggedy, but if I wanted to, <laughs> I could make this as clean as I need to, which I don't need to make it clean. I could just do it like this. Drop that in. 
So now you can see I have a little fin hole. That way I don't have to always go in and take the lid off if I don't need to. But you know, I just want to feed the fish in between so I don't freak them out. But you can see the smoke coming off of this. I'm not sure how, it, how well it shows up on camera, but this is the only thing you gotta do it outside so the smoke isn't filling or next to a window. Hey yeah, guys, um, so as far as like building the um, acclimation box, I'm pretty much done. I already had these built, but you can see how simple and really relatively cheap it is. Um, like six bucks for a, like a short one, and um, twelve bucks for the long one. I'll put the actual prices and the sizes for them um, up here on screen right now. Um, but pretty simple. All you gotta do is like drill some holes and melt some holes into it if you have a soldering iron or a wood burning tool. Um, you could even use like a laser etcher, um, but that's kind of pricey. Um, but unless if you're like one of the DIY guys um, that already has that stuff. Um, besides like that, um, the only expense is like the drill and a um, the the solar iron if you don't have those a drill at walmart or like any home depot spot you can get a cheap one for like um, about 24 dollars at walmart i know for sure and under 50 dollars at like a home depot Lowe's type store and then um or even get them like second hand like a, a thrift store which is like even cheaper and then soldering iron you can get brand new at like a um, like on Amazon for like 13 bucks. I'll try to put a link in the description for the soldering iron and a cheap drill um, Just in case if you guys don't have those, but I know a lot of you guys do have those so I'm um, gonna head gonna go ahead and mount the um, Mount the accl acclimation boxes into the curum. Um, I'm gonna use the, the little um, twisted wires I have you could use zip ties you could use um, twist ties um, that's uh, the uh, the rubber um, twist ties. You could use any way of <laughs> mounting it if you wanted to, but I I just have the twisted wire um, from like years and years and years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in the aquarium, add the more shadow, um, and that way you guys could see what it looks like. Alright guys, so the marsh idol is in the tank now and you can see it's inside its um, little acclimation box. That way it won't get beat on by the fish that I added, especially this powder brown and this guy right here. I've been trying to get them out but couldn't get them out, unfortunately. Oh well. But yeah, that does it for this video. Thanks guys. Like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.